and the firm as villains, Meghan and Harry identify themselves as victims, use Diana as shield. Meghan Markle says she's made world's biggest mistake in fictional film trailer. Lifetime's TV film is the third in a trilogy on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, which features actors Jordan Dean and Sidney Morton playing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle tells Prince Harry she fears she has made the world's biggest mistake in the new fictional film about the couple. Harry and Meghan, Escaping the Palace is based on the story of the couple quitting the royal family. Lifetime's new movie features actors Jordan Dean and Sidney Morton portray the Sussexes, but not everyone appears to be won over. Royal fans have been given a taster of what's ahead in the autumn. Prince Harry insists he'll do everything in his power to keep his wife and son safe in the clip. The Duchess then questions if she made a huge error marrying into the royal family back in 2018. Meghan's character tells him, I never thought this would be easy, but I wanted to make the Queen proud. Three months have gone by since Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's Oprah Winfrey interview. The CBS primetime special aired on March 7, 2021, and the royal family is still navigating the fallout. Not only did they detail their reasons for stepping back as senior royals but Meghan and Harry also made multiple claims against the British royal family. According to an expert, by championing a specific cause the couple created a serious problem for the royal family and the firm in the aftermath. During the two-and-a-half-hour program, Harry and Meghan accused the royal family of racism. At one point, the Duchess of Sussex recounted how an unnamed royal had made racist comments about her and Harry's now two-year-old son, Archie Harris and Mountbatten Windsor. There were concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born, she told Oprah. That was relayed to me from Harry, she added. Those were conversations that family had with him. After the interview aired Oprah revealed Harry told her off-camera that it hadn't been Queen Elizabeth II or Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh who made racist comments about Archie's skin color. The couple also said the firm didn't make any attempt to set the record straight on tabloid stories about Meghan they knew were wrong. They also claimed the firm offered no help when the now 39-year-old went to them with concerns about her mental health. Amid a backdrop of dramatic music, the trailer begins with Harry telling his wife, I see you literally being hounded to death, and I'm powerless to stop it. His remarks cut between images of the pair as they sit down with Oprah Winfrey, look after baby Archie alongside scenes filmed in what appears to be the palace. In the trailer, Meghan then declares, I am the person who is strong and gets things right. The brief clip also features a poignant message emblazoned across the screen that reads, Not all fairy tales have the perfect ending. Lifetime has shared very little detail about the exact plot of the movie, only promising that it will offer viewers a fictionalized account of what really happened inside the palace that drove Harry and Meghan to leave everything behind in order to make a future for themselves and their son Archie, according to Deadline. A source told the publication, it will detail Meghan's growing isolation and sadness, their disappointment that the firm was not defending them against the press's attacks. Harry's fear that history would repeat itself and he would not be able to protect his wife and son from the same forces that caused his mother's untimely death.